Hello, dear academics, ex-academics, alt -ax. everyone doing research or teaching in higher education institution or research institute, or have done so in the past. I'm Özgün Önberg. I'm a stress, burnout, and well-being coach for academics from mindyourownrevisions.com, and today is day 13 of the 30 days, 30 tips challenge to prevent and overcome burnout in academia. So today I'd like to talk about whether burnout means that you're a weak person. Well, when you reach the point of burnout, one of the things that you're going to feel is weakness and vulnerability. It feels as if you are the only one who can't keep up with life, who can't be resilient enough and can't, quote unquote, yeah, pull yourself together. I'm saying that you will feel this way because this is textbook burnout. Burnout wrecks havoc on our self-confidence and on our emotional and cognitive stability. It impairs us in these areas. But I would like to offer you another perspective on that. I would like you to question whether this is really true when you feel like this and if you feel like this. Does having a burnout really mean that you're a weak person? Well, if you're wondering, the answer is no, obviously, right? You're not a weak person. You're the opposite of that. On the contrary, you are someone who was willing to test and retest and test again the limits of your capacity, of your, of your, uh, yeah, basically the capacity to endure stress, to take on more things to do in life. And ending up in burnout usually means that you had the courage to show up over and over and over again, despite the signals your body gave you. Burnout usually means that you were able to exercise an enormous amount of willpower on your body and mind. Burnout has nothing to do with strength or weakness. Burnout has a lot to do with recognizing the signs coming from your body, your mind, and being able to respond to them in another way than avoiding or ignoring them, right? Burnout simply means that you were going too far in taking on stuff and the innate wisdom of your body simply had to perform something like a coup d'etat to take over the power so that you wouldn't work yourself to death. Well, in simple terms, this is it. The burnout does not mean that you're a weak person. It means that you just refuse to stop when you had to. And one last thing, burnout in itself does not have moral value. It means nothing more than it is. Basically, your body's survival mechanism taking over. So there you go. That was your tip of the day. If you are feeling burnt out, know that this does not mean that you're a weak person. It is a completely different subject, okay? If you are serious about preventing or overcoming burnout as an academic, I would love to invite you to my four-week online course, Bounce Back from Burnout. And the next cohort is starting on Sunday, 30th of January. And we are going to go on until Friday, 25th of February. This cohort, you can also join this cohort for free. And probably I won't do this again. So take advantage of this offer and please do join us. In order to find more information and to apply, to become part of this cohort, go to mindyourownrevisions.com slash BBFB. See you tomorrow for another tip. And until then, take care.
Bye.